Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, I am in Chamonix with Mr. Nate Murphy, a YouTube sensation, climbing vlogger, van builder extraordinaire. <laughs> Nate, I wanted to have a chat with you because I'd seen your videos on YouTube before I knew who you were. And you sort of epitomised the chucking it all away, living in your van and sort of living the climbing dream, really. Mm -hmm. How long have you been on the road for? Uh, two years. Okay. So, started off um, just touring around France in um, uh, like a estate, which I did like a tiny conversion to make it useful. Um, but then that, that died, um, went to Asia for six months. Ponsai in Thailand, classic tidal wave. Came back to Europe and then converted this van and I've been mostly in the van or in, in America for a year. Your van conversion video has had how many million YouTube views? It's like seven now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. It's a lot, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And it's like half an hour of you literally building this thing. Yeah, selfie filming. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting get paint in your hair. Why do you think it's had that appeal? Because it, I mean, it appeals to me as a climber because it's that escapism, but seven million is a lot of people. It's a lot. I think there's, there's definitely a trend towards like van life. It's like a thing. Um, and a lot of people are finding it through YouTube and Instagram. And anyone who's kind of curious about it, they want to know how you convert a van. Um, when I did the video for this, I actually saw that there was a gap. I thought that there wasn't any video which kind of showed you the whole process. So I just aimed to do that in one video. And like half an hour is a long time for video, but people will often watch it through several mm -hmm. times because it kind of does show every single process and the end result is aspirational. And I, th I think that's why it did well. I, I found myself watching about 17 minutes of it before I was like, I have to stop. I have no intention of buying a van, but it's quite addictive to see. <laughs> this is the transit van I have bought. Um, not too old, 80,000 miles. Just need to convert it so I can live for free everywhere. I've got wire for back LEDs. Front LEDs, more LEDs. They're like putting cement in. Day six, um, I put in a cut off part of the old bulkhead. Um, gives me just a really stable thing to drill things to. These are my two leisure batteries. And then your climbing videos is a big part of your YouTube channel. Yeah. So just tell me a bit about your sort of climbing history. When, when did you start? Um, I started climbing actually when I was mm, probably like 18, but like really total Gumby style. Like I had a hot, fat cotton rope from my barn. Um, and my mate went out with like some, like one pair of climbing shoes and a walking harness. So, uh, and then I think at university, I managed to buy a rack with my student loan and then started like some track climbing, but mm -hmm. just like, it's totally ropey climbing, didn't really know what I was doing. Let's talk about your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. because it is massively successful. How did you build that at the beginning? Um, initially, I was, so I was just making kind of like really not very off, I was making not very frequent vlogs mm -hmm. sort of things, and it was just like, oh, I'm in Thailand, now I'm in Laos, and, and just like making sort of destination feely things. Um, and really actually it was the van stuff which kicked the channel off because it had a little bit of viral success basically. And then from there, it's like trying to get people, okay, yeah, I do vans, I do climbing, but I do other things. So it's just trying, I mean, it's a difficult one to work out like how valuable it is. It's like, do I really put loads and loads of effort into it or do I just like do what I want and not care about it? Um, 
I think I'll end with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes Drop sense. Because yeah. I, I, think, I think you build a, uh, a community around your channel and yeah. people kind of come to expect something from you. Is, is there a pressure to keep on churning out material to sort of please the commentators? I mean, yeah, I think there is. There, there is definitely um, some pressure. There's also pressure from like Google's algorithm um, or YouTube's algorithm because if you don't post frequently, then you just your views start trailing off. And because I make money through the channel, it's like, oh, I don't want my views to trail off. So I'm like, I might as well post something. Um, for a while, I did kind of try and sort of appease a little bit by just producing the content that I thought my subscribers would want. But I didn't, wasn't really that passionate about that content. So now I'm just trying to go back to just like making fun stories about my friends. Um, because those videos you can come, come back to and my friends tell me that they watch it again <laughs> because it's like great trip memories, you know? So that's, that's what I focus on now. And if people don't like it, then whatever. What's going on? Um, sunset is going on and Nate says this is the best sunset of Vance life ever. This is going to be epic. We're right beside the sea. We are right beside the sea. So we're at Buzzy Grin. And turns out that Bear Grylls has booked the crag out to film with someone. He's gonna abseil the face. What a bad man. I'm not a big fan of Bear Grylls. I think he's dishonest. What's next for you? Where, so you're leaving Chamonix quite soon. Where yeah. are you heading? Um, I'm gonna go to Ptolemy, um, sort of in the high Sierra, um, Tiago Pass, do some training, and then Yosemite for two months to try and do something hardish. <laughs> get my ass kicked again. You got any idea what you're aiming for? Um, we're thinking of Premier or Muir Shaft, which is a just um, to the left of the nose. It's you know it's a big route. Um, I think it goes at 80 plus. It's it's hard to say, and that's hard for me, um, especially on trad. Yeah, sounds terrifying. <laughs> Before we finish, I have to talk very yeah, briefly yeah, sure. about the van because it is the nicest looking <laughs> van I've ever seen. Because I've always, like, I've always wanted to do the van thing, but yeah. at the same time, I don't really want to live, feel like I'm living in my car. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've put some real effort into this. Yeah, I, I just pretty much did it solidly for two and a half weeks and just, yeah, 15 hour days. And I was knackered by the end of it. And it just, yeah, I, I'm really happy with it. It's just a super cozy, comfortable place to be. Um, it doesn't really feel like you're living in a van. It feels like it's something like a Swedish cabin or something. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really good. And one thing I'm super excited about, you showed me just before we switched the cameras on, which was the campus board set up in there. <laughs> yeah. Which we'll cut to some B-roll of that in a second because uh, I'm pretty psyched to see it's that. Great. So, so you, you kind of designed the climbing thing around everything. Yeah, I mean, this, the, the campus board is a recent addition. I found that when you're traveling, especially sport climbing, or I was like coming gradually weaker. Um, and you, you can fingerboard, which gives you like increased strength, but to get the power, like the, it was just really difficult to attain. So I, like, I needed a campus board. Uh, so I built that um, before I came out this time. Awesome, man. Well, mate, it's, it's lovely to see you. And uh, yeah, your, your lifestyle is inspiring. It is, because it's kind of like, you, you've just done what a lot of people would kind of deep down like to do. So yeah. uh, please keep well, on. Keep it's on easy doing. to do and it's super cheap. You know, especially if you're van life in. There's so many van life people who are probably living on like 300 euros a month or something outrageous. <laughs> you know, like, but they're doing it and having a great time, so why not? Awesome, man. Well, guys, check out his YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully we'll see him more on Epic TV in the future. And Nate, thank you very much for your time. Cheers, thank you.